What's going on everybody? Josh here with Slightly Compulsive and I'm very excited because today is new knife day. As you can see, I've got a package over my shoulder here from Blade HQ and I've got to say it's not a newly released knife. This is a Giant Mouse GM F1, but uh, I, I've never owned one before. This is my first one. When I saw it online, it sort of intrigued me. Uh, it says made in Italy on the, the handle you'll see here soon, as well as on the leather slip. And uh, just for a little backstory, I was stationed in Italy for three years when I was in the army. And so with that came a lot of cultural appreciation. So when I see products made in Italy, I tend to gravitate towards them for that reason. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into this box and we'll talk about it some more. All right, I'm gonna use my custom Kaiser hiccup to open up this package here. Uh, this was originally their green micarta, uh, but it's been dyed to a maroon micarta here by myself. Here we go. Let's get into this. There it is. Here's the box that it comes in. Giant mouse. There's no tape on it, so let's just open it up. Here's the knife, the leather slip, and it looks like a business card here. Giant mouse it says, congratulations on your purchase, like a user care instruction and warranty. So I'll go ahead and put that off to the side. All right, so I'll open up this bag to pull the knife out and we will check this guy out. Since it's a fixed blade and it doesn't fold, they gave you this uh, like cardboard just to keep the blade from you know slicing or puncturing anything, uh, protect the slip while it's in transport. But here it is. Here's the leather slip, handmade in Italy. Looks like uh, you can feed your belt loop through this, which is pretty neat. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of research on this knife before I got it. I just knew this would be a really cool like box cutter. Uh, just something to add to my collection. I love M390. I just, I really like the way this one looked. I saw some Instagram photos with uh, some people that have got like lanyards on these and I just thought it looked really cool. I really like the slip too. Uh, this like black leather with the white stitching just looks really good. I'm not sure whether this goes in this way or the other way. Assume maybe this direction, but what do I know? There it goes. Looks like that's all the way in. So there it is. There's the GMF one inside of its slip. Uh, they've got some other variations of this. I know they've got a, a brown leather, I think two different colors of uh, brown leather. Um, and they have another material as well. They've got the uh, N690 variant, which is a little bit cheaper than this one. This is the uh, M390 version. There it is. Try to get the camera to pick up on that. There we go. I'm not sure if you can even see that or not, but it says made in Italy, M390 right there on the handle. Uh, this is the satin finish. Uh, they do have stone washed. Uh, the N691 came in stone washed. Uh, again, I didn't really do a whole lot of research on these. I knew this would just be a little, little fixed blade uh, to add to the collection, something to open up boxes and stuff with. Uh, just to me, it looks sort of classy, I guess, if you will. Not a very large blade, uh, but I just, I really like the way it looked. Um, something about a fixed blade and a nice leather slip just looks great. Um, very small knife. I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to my uh, SA, SE Knives Azula 2. Go ahead and get a little comparison of those side by side. So here's that knife. Uh, it comes with this little uh, Kydex sheath here. I guess it's Kydex, but open that up. 
put these side by side. This is obviously a larger knife, uh, but for somebody that's into fixed blades, I assume you probably have this knife here or one similar, just so you can get sort of a, a size comparison between these two. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're much different in size. Uh, and even, you know, in shape, you can see that uh, blade profile is much different on these two. I did see some uh, aftermarket scales you could put on this, like from Etsy. I don't plan to do that myself. I am gonna put a lanyard bead on here. In fact, I actually have that and I can open it up in this video as well. I ordered this combat bead uh, specifically for this knife here and it showed up today as well. So let's just go ahead and get into this too, I guess. I don't have any paracord. But, um, I mean, I'll, I'll open this up and I'll, I'll add that later. Just show you guys what I got to add to this. I was originally going to get a satin finished titanium bead. Uh, but then I thought, and I didn't really want to like, I don't know, have anything heavy hanging off the end. So I ended up going with this black micarta, which I thought looked really cool. This is the reload. the full size they have a mini this is the full size reload they give me some stickers in very cool get shit done and here's the uh, certificate of authenticity for that one pretty cool great company to deal with they shipped out super fast when I placed my order so very happy about that here it is I know this is sort of off topic, so sorry if you want to skip past this, go ahead. There it is, there's the bead. It's not focusing very well. Yeah, I just thought this would be a cool uh, add-on to this. You know, it's not like really, really black. It's sort of like a, you know, it's a lighter shade. And I think, you know, of course it'll darken with oil and, and that sort of thing as as it ages, but I just thought these would look good together. I'll take some picture the, pictures of this when I get the paracord and I'll post them on my Instagram, but yeah, this is gonna be on there. I think it looks cool. Um, I mean, of course, that's my own opinion, but here's the knife again, one last look. Got some fingerprints all over it, but it's got their insignia there. It's got some jimping here on the bottom jimping on the sort of the spine here, uh, as well as some jimping here, uh, sort of in this, I guess, sort of finger choil, if you will. Um, it's definitely not like a full grip. I knew that going into it. It's a small knife, um, something you could easily conceal. I did see that they make uh, sheaths that are similar to the one that comes with the SE. You can buy these on uh, Giant Mouse website as well, like a Kydex slip for that, which I think, you know, could come in handy. But honestly, like I said before, I really like this leather slip. The leather slip was sort of a big reason why I went with this knife. I know you can get slips made for any knife out there, but I mean, these go together so well. I love that they've got their logo in here. I love that it's, you know, like I said, made in Italy. I like that they've got these little holes in here. I mean, I, I wouldn't put anything through it, but I mean, I'm sure somebody would find a, a good use for those. And so there it is, uh, Giant Mouse GMF1. Cool knife, just another fun one to add to the collection. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, of course, I really haven't used this much. I just got it out the box, but I, I'd answer them if you throw them in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, um, thumbs up, and if you enjoy watching content like this, consider subscribing. Thanks.